Howdy, howdy. It's Ms. Lark, and I am going to do us a few roughs based on the looks that we have today, okay? So our first one is this gentleman with the trench, my one of my favorite coats. I've got my, my, my template underneath for him. I'm going to go ahead and draw that head. I do have it cocked a little bit. You don't really need to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that collar up around him. We've got that shoulder and a big old shoulder on the other side. I'm going to come on in at that collar there. Kind of like coming around. Um, got that big old jacket. And so what I'm going to do is that jacket is like holding a lot of weight here. So things are going to pull down really from here. So I'm just going to go pulling that all the way down to about mid-calf for this guy. And then it comes out. Um, he's, he's kind of pushing his leg out, so I'm going to push this out a little bit. You can also see that sleeve just kind of hanging down from there. We've also got that little uh, feature there, that thing at the at the wrist. I'm going to do his... his uh, his little runway hand there, not particularly runway hand, but you get what I'm saying. There's some kind of falling over here, and then there's that middle part just kind of hanging, and it kind of covers everything around his waist, so I'm going to go ahead and just draw that down like this. Uh, on the other side, I'm going to kind of do the same thing, except it, things kind of disappear over here, and I'm going to drop that sleeve again you just barely see his hand and so that kind of falls out so we actually see his uh we see the inside of his uh what he's wearing here with the sweats and he's got some, some there's some, uh, he's wearing a sneaker uh, i've got this right in front of the camera sorry about that uh ack, ack, ack. sorry 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 how to do something about that. All right, there we go. There we go. And so, brought it down a little bit. Whoops, lost place there. Um, got a sneaker coming out here. And uh, I've got this the matching sweat over there. So it's, it actually is showing more ankle than, it's, so it's not coming down so far. And then we see that other sneaker right there okay so let's get some more of these uh, details remember that we had the epaulette on up top that's that's actually kind of a, a tell there we've got that little side flap coming up like that we've got we've got basically the uh, collar turned over like this and then we've got another piece coming down like this and we've got some garment lines coming down from the side. I'm going to go ahead and remove my template now and um, see what we have. I've got um, a lot of tension lines here. And so I'm going to add one over here. And I'm going to add some on the sleeve here. And um, let me see what else we got here. We've got uh, some tension coming down and have some here and some here. We've got a button here, button there. Um, he's uh, got a t-shirt here. Uh, this is coming up a little bit more invasive in front. He's got kind of a long chain there. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of give him some shades and some hairline. Uh, and got kind of a mustache there oh that makes him look stupid all right well forget about that all right so then we see that his waistline is right here he's got um he's got some uh little strings hanging down from his sweatpants all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i am going to go ahead and with my skin tone marker that actually has more skin tone on it Oops, that's not it either. All right, we will get this, I swear. And, ah, there we go. We finally got a skin tone marker with some skin tone. And you see, I'm just going over my sketches, and I'm kind of smearing things. I don't really care. I'm just filling things in. Got 
over here on this other side. And I'm just filling this whole baby in right away here. And he's got darker skin, so I'm going to go ahead and use a darker skinned skin tone marker. Of course, that one's out of ink. What else did I expect here? Maybe some dark, a dark suntan would do it. Okay, this isn't really as dark as I want. So I'm going to start looking for a little bit of a browner uh, thing. A browner. I've got. Okay, this comes in. This is this is actually a Y543. This is from the Cali Art marker. Um, I am giving him some skin tone over here. Not going to cover up that part where I have the sun, the uh, sunglasses, and I'm also going to leave that hair of his blank. I'm going to go ahead and um, use a black marker here for both the hair and the sun tan sunglasses, and I'm going to add a little bit of detail here and there. For the whites, all I'm going to do here, folks, is take my Prismacolor pencils and give out my black. And I am going to just, let's make sure this is black. No, that's blue indigo. Uh, black is right here. And I'm going to just go ahead and give a little bit of shading here. A little bit of shading. And I'm just doing this with my pencil just to give it a good Nice little subtle shading. We know it's not gray. We just want to put some, uh, a little bit of just shadow here on the white. We know it's white. Um, also going to, going to give some white to his socks and sneakers here. Uh, I'm going to take that black that I had and I don't know if I can find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't even know where I, where I put it. Uh, oh, here's here's black. Okay, yes. So for the black, I'm going to go ahead and give that whatever Nike swoosh, fake Nike swoosh is here. Get that on the other side. I'm going to take some, take my C5 and give give myself a little bit more shadow around here. Maybe some shadow down here. You've also got. You see some of his, you see a little bit of his skin there from the sock. And he's got a, I guess he is actually wearing a Nike sock here. So we can put that there. I'm actually just doing that with gray. I'm going to put a little bit more gray around the coat. Now for the, uh, for the uh, rest of the uh, coat, I'm going to, I'm going to put in some darker uh, values. I'm going to probably... Uh, just go ahead and use my my brown marker here. Whoops, that's that's too much. Uh, actually, no, that's not that's okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of because it's pretty dark. It gets pretty dark for some of this stuff, especially in these more in these areas where there's a real uh, contrast, and you know you see that edge of that. Here you've got the epaulets up top, and over here I'm just going to take my uh, dark brown and I'm going to add a few little details. Okay, say for example that thing at the cuff, I'm gonna like maybe just add a little bit more shadow. Definitely going to put some buttons here. Going to add, and then I'm just using my brown colored pencil. Going to go it, you know maybe outline these epaulets, maybe give these shadows a little bit more, going to emphasize the cuffs, and maybe put a little bit more shadow where there is some, some of this fabric is kind of folding a little bit onto itself, just a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't find a marker that will blend in a little bit. Here we go. So this way I can kind of blend in some of this stuff around here. Going to add a little bit more value so it's not just the dark. It kind of transitions a little bit. Get those epaulets. 
I'm going to. And I see here that I uh, kind of went a little bit dark. So what I might do is go ahead and put some white around these sunglasses. Maybe put some white around on his, on his features here just to uh, let us know that he's got some, you know, some, let me see what I was saying. I don't know what I was saying. So he's got, so we can actually see some of his features. And then I'm going to go ahead and I have it somewhere around here. I was going to take a little gold uh, pencil and give him that chain, but I can't really find it right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my, my, uh, my golden rod, give him that gold chain, emphasize the shadows with some brown, and... I am done with my first sketch. All right. Thank you.